Hi, and welcome back. We are back in the Tesla Model 3. Pardon my audio, I don't have all my stuff with me today, but the update popped in, and I wanted to give you a quick review. It's gonna be a short video, but there is something new. Uh, so this is version 2024.3.25, which includes full self-driving 12.3.6 supervised. Um, but there's one thing they added I'm gonna show you. We're gonna turn the camera around and get right to it. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at the uh, software release notes. So it does have the full self-driving, which it tells you that it does the end-to-end -end neural network, um, trained on millions of video clips, and replaces over 300,000 lines of code, but we've had that in the last few updates. But And then we have this one, which tells you about full self-driving, uh, and it just gives you some more details. But the new park part in this version is the auto park update. So now you can use the auto park uh, I mean, it's toward the end of my free trial, but you can use it, uh, and there's an update to it, which says, when you're driving at low speed, your display highlights potential parking spaces. Auto Park shows a circular P symbol to suggest a space, but you can choose any highlighted space. To start parking, stop the vehicle, press start, and release the steering wheel so it can move freely. Refer to the owner's manual for more details. As with all autopilot features, you must continue to pay attention and be ready to take immediate action, including canceling Auto Park. So, now we've got an update to Auto Park. So that's the new thing, the new feature, if you will, within this update. So yeah, it's not a lot, but the Auto Park is nice. I probably will do a video on that. Maybe we'll see. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.